Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today's video is going to be about installing and tuning uh, your PCM with the Trinity um, system from Diablo Sports. Uh, in the previous video, I did unbox the Trinity system and did also purchase a unlocked PCM um, from Trinity. And then I had them um, calibrate that and um, etch in my VIN number for my exact Jeep. The way I can do a PCM swap, keeping the original one stock in OEM and then putting in the aftermarket one so I can do some tuning to it. Alright, so here's a video of the actual installation of the PCM. Um, I already did the actual installation, so it took a little bit of time for me to maneuver everything. Um, and it turned out to be a pretty sloppy video, so I'm going to give you guys a shortcut. Uh, you're going to need an 8mm socket, and uh, there are three screws securing this PCM to your vehicle. Um, before you do those screws, though, you want to remove these two electrical connections. Uh, they're pretty simple. There's a right lever down here. You want to pull up on this lever. And that's going to move these two pieces of green plastic down uh, internally into this uh, mechanism. And it's going to just pop off these two electrical connections. Pretty straightforward. If your levers are broken, you can get a small flathead. Right there, you see that green plastic. You want to push that green plastic down. That's going to unlock the mechanism. And while you do, uh, pop these two off. Once you do that, it's just three uh, screws. Again, using an 8mm socket. There's two on your left, so right here. Very right bottom down here, and then there's one right here in the middle. This has a grounding strap attached to it, so make sure you reattach that grounding strap. Uh, once you do those, it, it pops right out, and it looks something like this. This is your stock PCM. It has your calibration ID and your VIN number. You want to provide that to Diablo Sport, and they're going to make sure that it has the same information on your new PCM. Once you pop this guy out, you can go ahead and, of course, install... Your new one, new one's a little bit cleaner, um, still has the official Mopar sticker on it though. Uh, you know, and that's pretty much for the installation of the PCM. It's pretty straightforward. It takes about 20 minutes, um, only because I dropped a socket in the middle of the engine bay and had to go dig for it. Uh, well, of course, it happens. Uh, so once that's done, uh, the rest of it's already done inside the vehicle itself. Around the driver's seat, we have the actual Trinity system. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do that too. Alright guys, so once you install your PCM, next thing to do is to locate your OBD2 port. And OBD2 again is Onboard Diagnostics 2. And right here is your OBD2 port. So I pop this guy out. There's your port. I'm going to go ahead and secure this OBD2 connector to it. And what I did was I removed this component and then... Um, Right here, this side piece just pops right out. You can go ahead and pull it out. I ran my cable up through here, over the dash, and I have it attached right here to the Trinity system. Um, a lot of guys install it right here. This is where I have my phone mount though for my car. I use a magnetic one. Works great for me. Um, so I did end up running a little bit longer cable, and I have the Trinity mounted right here. Now, you can do whatever you want to do. Alright guys, so using the Trinity itself is pretty basic. Uh, you have your tuning options over here. If you wanted to do a custom tune, uh, your performance test, if you want to do a 0-60 to pull and do a simulated uh, drag race. Um, settings itself refer to just the Diablo, um, changing brightness, and whether you want sound beeping on or off when you push a button, so on and so forth. Um, gauging and logging, uh, I'll show you in a second. It shows you real-time gauges, so you can look at uh, multiple parameters while you're doing tuning or while you're doing um, just driving. Diagnostics, of course, um, self-explanatory, reading those OBD2 codes. And EAS settings, um, that's another optional hardware you can buy from Diablo Sport. I don't personally have it, so I'm not going to cover it in this video. But let's get into uh, tuning quick. Just click on tuning, and I'll tell you it's going to gather some vehicle information. It's going to talk to your PCM and um, see what's going on here with the vehicle, what kind of vehicle you have, what kind of PID information it can pull and monitor. Uh, and then it's going to talk about the different tuning. So you have uh, restoring a vehicle tune. If you want to put back your old tune and revert it. If you want to do a custom tune. Or if you want to just tune your vehicle. And under your tuning screen, another option here is going to custom tuning. Uh, this is where you can choose a tune that was professionally made for you and for your vehicle. You have to go under uh, Windows. Use this USB port. They do give you a cable. Plug it into your computer. And you're going to drag and drop your custom tune from your tuner under the custom tuning folder. The way when you go into your Trinity system, it's going to be right there on the custom tuning. So we're going to go under tune your vehicle. And we're going to be able to choose from either your stock tune, if you want to just modify your OEM tune um, by changing maybe timing, 
um, your spark, your fuel, something basic like that. This is the Diablo provided 91 octane tune. Um, and then you have your Diablo tuner up top, which is what I'm running right now, and that is your 93 octane tune. This is under engine tunes. You go under transmission tunes, and they do offer either to modify your original stock tune or a performance tune they provide you. Again, I chose the performance tune. So I'm gonna go back and do it again to show you guys how easy it is to do a tune with the Trinity system. So I'm gonna choose Diablo tune. I'm gonna choose the performance tune um, for the transmission. It's gonna go ahead and start um, compiling this information for me. And uh, all right, so it says I already did the previous changes. Uh, do you wanna change your modifications? So I'm gonna say um, change. All right, oops, I just hit the back button by accident. All right, choose this again, change. All right, so you have a bunch of options here. Tires, you can adjust the height of your tire, um, the way it makes your speedometer be correct and your odometer be correct. That I didn't modify, so we're gonna get out of here. MDS, if you hit your annoying MDS, which I do, we're gonna turn it from on to off and save. Now your MDS is gonna enable the four cylinder mode. Um, it's quite annoying in my personal opinion. I did turn it off um, because I just don't like the way it works. Um, even when you have it in four cylinder mode, you're not saving a ton of gas mileage, maybe uh, one to maybe two miles per gallon. Uh, my personal opinion is just not worth it. So then you have options for switches, traction control. Obviously you wanna enable traction control. I'm gonna leave that alone. Limiters. How high do you want to rev your engine and what's your speed limit going to be, your maximum speed? So we have in here a max speed of 186 miles an hour and my rev limiter is set to 6700 RPMs. The highest you can go is 7000. Um, I'm leaving mine at 6700. I think that's good enough. So I'm going to hit save even though I didn't change anything. Oh, well, let me hit save. So let me hit back. Okay, throttle. Um, this says a throttle booster. It's, it's your, your sensitivity. If you click over here and say, you know, what is this? increases your boost, uh, which is your throttle sensitivity. It doesn't add any extra power, it just makes your throttle pedal more sensitive, so when you push on it, you're gonna see a more fine adjustment on there. I'm not gonna change it, I think the way the stock one is is perfectly fine. Go up to fans. This is where you wanna adjust it for having a 180 T-stat. Right now you're at, we're at 215 when the fans come on. I have a 180 T-stat, so I'm gonna drop this down to 185. Now I've seen various people mention that you either drop it down 20, 25 degrees. Um, but I want mine to kick on at 185 degrees. So we're gonna say save and make sure that's at 185. Okay, then we have fuel. This I'm not gonna change. You can change how much extra fuel you get for your RPM range. This you can do once you have data logging done. I haven't done any data logging yet, so I'm not gonna do that. Spark, same kind of thing. You can adjust your spark. Um, for a different RPM range. Again, I haven't done this yet. I haven't done any data logging, so I can't view any data, so I'm not sure how to adjust it, so I'm gonna leave that alone for right now. Idle, it's your last option. What do you want your car to idle at? Um, with AC on, AC off, idle and drive, idle and neutral. Um, what we got here? Adjust what the vehicle's idle RPM is when in either area. Um, I'm not going to change it. It's at zero. It's obviously not going to be zero. Um, so I'm going to leave it alone. That is default to its typical idling um, RPMs. And that's really it. Um, so those are your options for changing stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to install it. Install the Diablo tune. Yes, that's your 93 octane tune. Your performance transmission tune. Yep, four cylinder mode off. Rev limiter 6700 and your fan temperature is on at 185.6 degrees. Accept and install. Now it's gonna go through and have me either turn the car on, turn the car off, turn the car on, turn the car off, and do that a variety of times. Um, and that's gonna have me do the same thing for the transmission tune. While it's doing this, you're gonna see some kind of notifications going on on your dash. It may say uh, your blind spots being serviced. It may say your stability control is out. Uh, you're going to see basically your whole dash is going to beep and light up and make all kinds of noises. That's perfectly normal. I mean, you are right into the PCM. You're overwriting everything. It's also going to flash uh, red lights on your transmission for your park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Saying you got to service it immediately. 
um, there's a major error, something like that. Um, again, that's all part of the installation while you're installing your tune. It's going to overwrite some parameters, which makes the computer think there's an error going on, um, but there actually is no error going on. It's just part of the installation process. Okay, next you want to turn off your ignition and do what it says. Turn it off. Press to continue. Okay, back on the run mode. Do not turn your engine on. Keep your foot off the brake. Just push the um, push the start button twice to get you into run mode. You're gonna hit OK. Okay, turn it off again. Press that push to start one more time. You're in off mode. Press to continue. Do it again, run mode, do not turn the car on. Hit OK. It's going to export some information from your PCM. Now it's doing your actual transmission tune. So let me show you what I'm talking about when I talk about um, your tra transmission going crazy. You see that error? That's going to be normal. See, you got know, a bunch of errors going on right there. Again, this is all perfectly normal. There we go. Now we're installing the transmission tune. So the PCM tune is done. Uh, now it's just your transmission tune. All right, and through the magic of video, we are now almost done doing our transmission tune. It takes about maybe five minutes, four minutes, something like that. Okay, again, go off. Press OK to continue. Back to run mode, push that push to start twice. Continue. Now it's going to export some files. Again, doing that backup and saving everything for you. Okay, and now you are done. You are done tuning your vehicle. We're going to continue. Next thing I want to do is set up some gauges. We're going to go over here to gauges and logging. This will allow us to customize whatever we want to see from the vehicle um, to modify our gauge cluster and really customize it to our own liking to make sure we monitor whatever we care about monitoring. Uh, this is important for data logging. You want to make sure you're logging the parameters that your tuner tells you to log, um, such as IET temperatures, RPMs, and NOC. All right, so here's one of your gauge options. You can go ahead and swipe. Here's another gauge option. And I'll go to the very last option. You get a whole bunch of data at once. You can see right now it's updating in real time. So in order to change this, I like using this one personally. You have your speed right here, which is one gauge. Here's your other gauge. You got four right here, an outer one, and then you have an inner one. So in order to change this, you can just double tap. And it's going to say, okay, you want to edit this one right here, if you remember. And that's going to give you a bunch of options for what you want to monitor instead. So you can have a cooling distance EGR electrical engine. Let's go under engine, just for instance. Okay, you know, what is oil PRES? Hit the I mark right there, oil pressure sensor. So that's pretty cool. And then you go under the exclamation point, you can set sounds, uh, warning values, alerts, so on and so forth, min, max values, and then you can control your major and minor text. So that's, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm going to hit back because I don't feel like changing it right now. It's already been customized to my liking. And right now I'm monitoring my IAT temperatures because it did do the IAT relocation. I'm monitoring the the T-stat temperature or the coolant temperature. It's at 180, 185, and then I'm monitoring my NOC um, ST uh, short term and then LT for long term. Um, so I'll show you in a second as soon as this finishes updating. There's my NOC long term, coolant temperature, IAT, and NOC short term. RPMs on the outside, my throttle position and percentage, throttle blade on the other side, and then my speed. So again, you can customize it however you want to customize it, and then if you want to everything at once you can customize this as well which is pretty cool 
When you're ready, start logging data. Swipe down from the top, push right there for recording. It allows you to record your data the way you start data logging. Now say you, you got done with this information, you wanna change something else. Here are your options, home, settings, diagnostics, tuning, so on and so forth. If you wanna change how your gauges actually look, you can go under theme setting. You can change the, the color of the themes for your uh, gauges, whether you want a red outline, whether you want black, so it's, uh, it's pretty customizable and pretty cool. So here you go, you can choose uh, you know, your alert colors, warnings, values, units, and whatever it may be. I'm kind of customize how these actual gauges look, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna do that. I like the way it's showing up right now. So I'm gonna hit back. All right, down from the top, edit layout. That's a pretty cool customization. All right, what screen do I want to change? Let's change the screen. Click on that guy. All right, so here are your options. Um, this is one display, image two, image three. You know, you can choose whenever you want. You only get three main ones to choose from. As you remember, I'm using one of these ones. I'm using one of these ones too. Um, you can scroll through and they have a bunch of options for you to choose from for gauges. You can really customize it to look however you want it to look. So when you scroll through these images right here, we can see this is kind of a grayish silver outline. Uh, if we scroll down the other way. Now you got a little bit of red and yellow in there. Scroll again. Ignoring everything now, let's just go to that one cluster. See how it's all red now. And then same thing goes for the other ones too. Um, these six dials, they have a red outline on their other perimeter there. And if I go down, now you got a black one and keep going down. Now you have silver. So if you want to choose your, your color for the outline of the gauges, um, it can either be black, it can be red, or it can be silver. Um, now the ones I chose, are all are all blacked out um, versus having a uh, red design too. So if your preferences there, you can adjust it under this setting, uh, and then choose your desired um, outline for the gauges that way. I'm gonna go out of here again. I chose all black for mine. Um, that's just what my preference is. I think it looks the sleekest in the vehicle. Guys, that's really it for the uh, installation video of the PCM and the Diablo Sport tuning. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that in the Diablo Sport using the uh, Trinity system, you can go ahead and double click anywhere on that screen when you're displaying gauges. You can customize any of the gauges that you're displaying. Uh, I customize just that one gauge, but you can display anything you want to display uh, from the available options and the, the uh, Trinity module. Of course, granted the PCM can support it, and uh, there are quite a few options to choose from. As far as content goes, uh, my next video, I want to upload some uh, 0 60 pulls. Uh, with all my mods done and then i do want to upload um, some reaction videos and other content like that so uh if this is the kind of content you guys enjoy please hit that subscribe button and there is plenty more content on the way thanks